Zeb Aurelius. Meet the muscle of the ghost team. Zeb was a cunning Larsat honor guard who adopted the cause of the rebellion against the Empire. Hello and welcome to another episode of Centurion's Corner and today we're reviewing from Star Wars Rebels, Zeb. Now this is the one that's been most highly anticipated from all the actual Rebel figures due to the fact now we can actually complete the ghost crew and this is the last one that I need to completely complete that set. Now I finally got Ezra the other week um, from his re-release and now he can fall in line with Zeb as well. And he's looking absolutely amazing. It's in a really big size beefy box. Zeb looks quite nice and big in that window and it just kind of starts off this kind of new packaging in a really nice nice way. So we've got him all here in the window. We've got that purple going through the actual box. On the side we've got the actual Zeb, picture of Zeb. Um, kind of looking a little bit off and a little bit weird. His weapon looks a bit small and his head looks a bit kind of elongated. It looks more like a kind of a, a troll or something. At the bottom, we just got the name. On the back, we got the picture and his bio. And he's number one starting off the Rebels line. And on the side, it's just nothing with the continuation of the purple. So, without further ado, let's just crack this really big bad boy open. Mm. So here he is in his blister pack, looking really, really nice. It just gives that whole body now, and now he's completely out. His legs were hidden away. Uh, he just looks massive. And obviously the whole of this bit as well was completely hidden as well. Um, so he just looks 10 times bigger than he did in that bigger box. So um, we just pull him out for the first impressions. Always in there. And um, yeah. He's looking really nice. Just everything about on that figure looks pretty cool. It does feel a bit of a different plastic. I think when they do the larger ones, um, it's a little bit more hollow than it is kind of like full. But um, yeah, he's looking pretty fine. So we just go away, take a review. Well, you see you Zeb. Well, what can I say about this figure that absolutely I love this guy. I think Hasbro have actually pulled their nuts out on this one and done really well with this figure. And um, I don't think there's much else they could do with it. I mean, I've seen people who have said, oh, I wish his eyes is a bit bigger. I wish, I wish that. And I think, to be honest, Hasbro could have done nothing else really. Maybe a few extra paint applications just to make these armor a little bit more weathered and a little bit more real. But apart from that, I think they've done a superb job. And I think he's absolutely mint, to be honest. So really, it comes with one accessory. And what an accessory it is, it's absolutely fantastic. And it's his kind of sort of vibro staff or whatnot it's called. So looking at it, we'll start from this end. They come with this kind of um, pinky kind of sort of electric kind of sort of end to it. Going down into these sort of extra metal parts and over these wraps as well. Uh, we've got a little bit of weathering on there and a little bit of other bits and all that. But um, yeah, it's done just just the right amount, I think, right amount of details. Yeah, we could have a bit of paint wash on these sort of wraps just to bring them up. But um, no, it's really good. And I love the little um, orange, orange pink kind of electro parts as well. So these bits drop down. We can push these closer together. These bits push in, and this bit pushes in, and then this bit pops out as well. Should take these out first. So these are removable, and they can go right in. And then take this one out, which is like that. And then what we can do with this one is actually spin this one around, put this part down, and this actually turns into this blaster cannon. So you can just hold it with that hand, but it mainly really holds it with his kind of other guard. Keep his fingers on there. And um, yeah, it just, I love it. Just absolutely love that. I think they've done a fantastic job with it and it looks brilliant. So even with that, we can take that off and um, turn him around. 
and actually poke that straight onto his back into these little holes that he has. And the good thing that Hasbro's done is we've got pegs by both sides. So if you just wanted to keep it in the star form, but in a lower way, we can actually got both pegs to go on. So it doesn't matter which way you want it or whatnot, you can actually pull it straight on there. So just one accessory, but it's done really well. And next up, I suppose, is his articulation. And this is where Zeb really comes to life. So looking straight up, we can go to his head and um, we can go left, go right. He can look up and he can look down. And we've got all that kind of sort of like movement around at the bottom down here. You can see the ball joint just straight up there. So we actually get quite a lot of um, movement on there. We can go rock it back and forward, look down, look up as well. We can rotate all around and it's done really well. We've got a rotation here at the upper. His arm can't really come up that far because of the, it's hindered. But well, this one's a little bit thicker than this side of his pauldron, so we can't bring that up. He's got rotation here at the elbow. He's got the rotation all the way around as well up here. We've got an elbow bend, which is a bit more than 90 degrees, I suppose, if we bring it up. And we've got rotation at the wrist, and it's also on a hinge. We've got a kind of like a nice ball joint, sort of a waist torso down the bottom here. And then also, we've got the legs that can come up this far, they can go back this far, they can come out this wide, and we've got the upper thigh rotation as well, just in there. We've got a double jointed knee that can come right up here. Then we've got the extra kind of sort of articulated foot that's kind of rocks around here and it also swivels. And then on this part here, he's actually on a ball joint at his foot. It's not on a pivot or anything on there, but that's where that's, this part comes in movement. And with that, we can get his legs nice and straight and then get him right there and stand him up on his very high end legs. try and keep them up right there we go and and then I have got the Mandalorian from yesterday just for a height comparison so as you can see he's a lot taller than just a normal normal figure and um, looking fine so we've got the um, Return of the Jedi uh, sorry Revenge of the Sith Obi-Wan Kenobi that I made and uh, just for another height comparison as well so yeah he's, he's pretty quite cool and he's really nice and then what we do, we just go through his sculpt and paintwork. So yeah, as you can see, like the eyes, they really kind of flare up, look really cool, mean and cool. And um, I don't know if you know, but it was actually based on the kind of first concept of Chewbacca the Wookiee, obviously. And um, there's a picture on the side where you can see the concept of it. I'm glad they didn't go that way because actually the thing is horrifying, but um, you can see where they sort of transferred it over. So we've got the nice sort of beard part on here that goes all around with a bit of sort of dry brushing all on there. We've got the green armor, that kind of looks like Jane and uh, Kane and Jarrus, with the same sort of paintwork and all that on the side. Uh, looking at that kind of sort of shark face on there. Arms going down, keeping that sort of like purple tiger kind of tiger print all over him. We've got the communicator on there. Hand and his nails and claws. Going down to the yellow undersuit, which it does this part does look a little bit basic. You know, it is a bit shiny. It sometimes it does remind me a bit of an old Thundercats figure, but um, I love it. I just think it's cool. It just keeps that kind of cartoon look across. Going down to his feet, and again to the claws and the detailing just on that skin as well. And he looks fantastic. And um, yeah, I'm really glad that they have brought him out finally, and they have done him justice. I just think he looks absolutely amazing. So, have you got all the crew figures now? Have you got all the ghosts? Um, obviously I've got Asuka, all the rebels. I don't think there's any other ones I'm missing. I've got Fawn, uh, the jump trooper. So I think at the moment I'm completely set on my rebels collection. So, that kind of brings me to the end of the review. Is there any other characters that you need to finish off your ghost crew or are you not bothering at all because obviously it's just rebels and it's animated? Let me know down below and uh, let me know your thoughts. And you can follow me on Instagram, which is in the description down below, where I'll be posting more kind of pictures of this guy. And you can like and subscribe. And until then, I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.